Hello, everyone, again, welcome. This is Online Trader Central. We want to welcome each and every one of you to the presentation today. Uh, last folks to join, Windsor, Manny, and others. Uh, Bubba is here with us. Abby Max, MC Trader, uh, R2, S2 is here with us. Uh, uh, Dimitri, Bob, and others. Dave B, I guess, if that's correct. Uh, Andy, uh, Income Trader, Philip, and others. This is Online Trader Central. We're fortunate today to have Melissa Armour with us. We'll be starting uh, very, very soon. I need to uh, round up the musicians, and uh, we'll get uh, we'll get started here. Again, the uh, presenter today is Melissa Armo of Stock Push. Uh, the title and the topic is How to Make Money Fast in One Half Hour a Day. Melissa Armo, uh, this event is sponsored by the uh, Stock Push LLC. Melissa Armo is your host and presenter today, and we'll be starting to, as soon as I round up the musicians. Let me see if I can go find them. I need to find the uh, for the percussion section and the uh, the trumpets. Okay, here they are. All right, drummers. Thank you. All right, drummers. On cue. One, two, three. Excellent. And cue the trumpets. One, two, three. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to begin. It's exactly 4.30. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter for today from the stockswish.com. Please welcome Melissa Armo. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa. Can you hear me? Let me know. Just want to do a sound check here. Let me know you can hear me. Great. Wonderful. Well, welcome. Welcome, everyone. It's Monday, July 15th. Earnings season is here now. Second quarter earnings season in the market. And today I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic, which is about how to make money fast in half hour a day. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called the Stock Swoosh LLC. If you'd like more information after today's lecture, you can feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com, and also go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Skype, and add me or like me at any one of those places. So, do you want to earn more money? Well, of course, of course, the answer is yes. We'd all like to have more money. And in order to have more money, we're going to have to earn more money, either earning more or saving more. And right now in today's world, you want to stick your money in this little piggy bank guy in this little bank. You're really not going to earn that much by doing that. So how are you really going to get somewhere? It's to actually earn more money. You could go get another job, a full-time job, a part-time job, or you can learn how to trade the market. And this is what we're gonna talk about today. So would you like to work less than an hour a day? This is something that is possible if you trade the stock market. Trading the stock market is not like a normal job where you punch a clock and you gotta be there from eight to five or nine to five or 10 to six. This is the kind of job where you have a set strategy, a set plan of action, a set business plan that you're gonna do. You go in, you do it, and you're done. You could be done in 15 minutes, you could be done in five minutes, you could be done in 30 minutes. And this is the amazing thing about trading and what I'm gonna share with you today. Really becoming more self-sufficient is the goal. This is the goal of many individuals, many people that I meet, and it has become my personal goal and of course I've achieved it. The good thing is that in today's environment, in today's world, you can reach out to many different people like you're reaching out to me here. Some of you are in the United States, some of you are in different countries and learn about the U.S. stock market because you do not have to live in the United States to trade the U.S. stock market, but you may want to make more money wherever you live and become more self-sufficient because this is the wave of the future. Personal success is the wave of the future. All right. It's not like all of a sudden you're going to be able to rely on some company, some corporation to be able to achieve the success and the dreams that you desire financially. No, it's going to happen because you're going to rely on yourself. You're going to learn what to do in whatever venture you choose. And for me, it's trading. And you're going to find your own personal success and achieve your own dreams and goals because this is the way of the future. So how can you become more successful in your life? 
Easy. Learn how to trade the stock market. It's really possible for anyone to do this. Many people think, gosh, you know, well, I got to become a stockbroker. I've got to go to Wall Street. I've got to move to New York. I've got to live in London. I have to take all of these classes. It's going to take me 20 years. No, you can learn how to trade the stock market and become successful as one individual trading out of your house. You can learn how to do it. You just need a formula. Okay, so we're going to talk about exactly what you need, and this is what we're going to break down today. You need a formula to trade. You can't just go all of a sudden pick any stock in the market and trade it. You need a formula. A formula for success is part of any good business plan. You need a formula in order to trade the market so you can consistently make money. The formula needs to be specific, detailed, and something you can comprehend and use on a daily basis, or almost a daily basis. The formula needs to be utilitarian for effectiveness in the market with regularity. And in other words, it has to be something that's useful. It has to be something that's effective. It has to be something that attains the goals that you're trying to achieve, which is profitability on a consistent basis. This is what a formula really is, okay? Just because you're not doing mathematical equations or science you, in trading, you, it's really a formula. It's a formula that you need that is gonna help you trade successfully. And you need a formula to trade that has fast results. What do I mean? I mean the idea of taking a position in a stock and being in it for 20 years until you can make any money is not what I would say is a fast result, okay? that is. Uh, a long result, a long time you might be waiting for the result, and that's what I call a core trader, a core investor. And that's not what I do, okay? I'm a day trader. I am in trades and I'm flat and out of them every single day uh, by the end of four o'clock. Now, you can get in trades and hold them overnight or carry them into the next day as swing trades or core trades. And you can use my system to do that but the results are not gonna be quick. You're gonna to have to be patient. I think that making money fast is very important in today's world because it's gonna help you achieve the success that you're trying to attain and become more self-sufficient faster. Time is a precious commodity in today's world. Time is as valuable as having money. It really is. When people ask me about things and what they want, I say, you know what, my time is valuable. Your time is valuable. You have to consider this when you do something in your life. Results need to come and come fast in order for a trader to get somewhere with their finances, their trading account, and their future. In today's world, no one has any time to waste. I don't care what income level you are on, rich, poor, middle class, nobody has any time to waste in today's world. Time is of the essence if you're investing and you want to get results and you want them quick. So you need a formula that will lead you to financial freedom. Every good business plan has its goal, an increase in profits and improve profitability over time. And with effort on your part to learn what to do, the right formula will produce more income for you and therefore an overall better quality of life with more freedom financially. Again, it goes back to the idea of being more self-sufficient. If you are relying on yourself, you're going to have more freedom financially because you're not going to be relying on some external source to predict how much money you're going to make today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, whether or not you're going to get a raise or what you're going to earn in the calendar year. So trading is much different, and this is why I love it. If you trade with a formula that is a business plan, it's a business plan when you have a formula. And the Golden Gap System, which is the formula that I teach and trade, is actually a business plan. It's a business plan for your trading because there's specific things that you follow and you do them. And if you do, you can achieve results. So it's called the Golden Gap System. The Golden Gap System is a business plan for your trading. It tells you what to look for and what to do. The Golden Gap System uses a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. And that's really the formula, to be honest with you, the 26 points. The 26 points are all based on the daily chart of a stock and the price the stock is gapping at. The points use technical analysis on an advanced level. The formula is specific, and again, this is where it's important, and it is designed to lead you in the direction of a momentum move in a morning gap play. 
And this is how you're going to make the money fast and efficiently because you're going to be looking for the momentum. When momentum happens in a stock, it happens fast. Okay. It might even set up fast and go fast. And then that's how you're getting paid and making money as a trader. So it's fast and it's effective and it pays you. So the golden gap system is the formula. The formula is following the 26 point checklist. The Golden Gap system is efficient. Which, what does that mean? It means it works fast so that it can pay you. So you don't have to sit and wait around eight hours a day to be able to make money. And the Golden Gap system is effective. What does that mean in reference to trading? The risk to reward payout is big, which means you're going to have more financial freedom. So therefore, for every dollar you risk, you're going to make how much? You don't want to risk a dollar to make a dollar. That's not a good risk to reward trade. If you can risk one dollar and make four dollars or one dollar and make ten dollars, that's a good risk to reward trade. That's a good investment for you. And if you can do that and be able to do that quickly, you're really going to be able to move ahead and become more self-sufficient and have more freedom in your life financially by, by trading. And at some point, you may even end up deciding to trade full time as I have. Even if you start out beginning doing it initially as a part-time thing and you say, wait a minute, I can take $1 and make four. I can take $1 and make 10. This is a much better investment than sticking my money in the bank in a money market or a checking account or a savings account. And my time is better well spent. So we're going to go over some trades here today to show you some examples of how you can make this kind of money in only 30 minutes. That's, that's the only examples I'm going to go over today. What you could have made in 30 minutes trading. Let's just say you, you do have another job right now, or you have other responsibilities, a family, you're watching your kids, whatever it happens to be, and you really don't have all day to sit in front of the computer. You really only have 30 minutes or an hour. So you take 30 minutes to prep for the day and 30 minutes then to be in the trade. This is an example of a trade in line. This is a trade I did this is the beginning of July. This was just um, two weeks ago or a week and a half ago, right before the holiday. This is a fantastic, beautiful, nice red bar here. And you could have traded this all, all up until the, until the day. But if you only wanted to trade it for 30 minutes, let's look and see how the trade played out. Now, how did I know this was going to work? Well, the stock gapped here on the first. And actually, there was a play in here, too. So you could have played this fast and hard in here the day of the gap or the follow-through day as well. It gapped actually two days. This is one of these very unusual types of setups where the stock gaps one day and will gap immediately again. It gapped here July 1st, gapped again on July 2nd. And then the setup was here. So stock open, dropped, fell off, set up right in here. The entry was at 9.44. I'm going to go back and show you this then in a minute in the chart. The price was 25.63 for the entry. The stock was over 25.85, so it was about 22 cents. Now, is that a good risk to reward for this? Well, let's see where the target was. First target was $24. As it turns out, it went past that. Even if it would have halted at 24, that was still a good risk to reward in the trade because the entry was 25.63. On 2,000 shares, you could have risked $440. And if you got out in just 35 minutes, you would have made 39.60 on $440. This is nine times the amount risked that you made in profit. So this is a great risk to reward trade. So in 35 minutes, you could have made nine times the amount of money you risked. And I just used $440. I'm going to show you another beginner's example because I know this is high risk for some people that are traders. But I'm going to show you a beginner example as well. It doesn't matter. The risk to reward is the same. This is July 2nd. Hedge guy is asking me what's the date on this. Um, July 3rd was the day that the trade set up. July 2nd was the gap. Okay. So let's go over the daily. This is July 2nd, it gapped first. This is what I call a continuation gap, but it also gapped the day of the actual trade. And it is in here, you see this, this is on the 3rd. So the example I'm using is on the 3rd, the first day of the gap was July 2nd. Okay, follow me. 
There was the same setup in here though, the sec on the on the uh, day of the gap too, on the second. In fact, I can pull up my chart so we have time afterwards and I can show you. It's set up both days. Either way, you could have booked money and had a nice trade in 30 minutes. This doesn't even include the whole extension. This actually dropped off even more. The eggs on this did a double bottom, so I was out here in the bounce on this chart. Do you see how this set up right in here by 945? Came down in here, did a double bottom bounce, I'm out. Now, Paul's asking me a good question. This is a great question. Paul is saying, basically, how much money do you need to have to do this? All right, let's talk about this, because a lot of people ask me this, and they ask me this after I do webinars, so we may as well go over this right now. At $25.63 is the price point for the stock. If you wanted to take 2,000 shares of it, you would need a little over 51,000 in buying power, not cash, buying power in the stock, okay? So if you do not want to take 2,000 shares, if you do not have over 50,000 buying power, that's not 50,000 cash because broker accounts give you leverage, then you can take less. Let's go over the beginner's example for this. The Golden Gap play for beginners. This guy's just started out. He just took the Gap class. He's not 100% willing to risk $440 right now. He just took the class. It's his first week trading. He is going to ease himself into it, but he sees the setup. He loves the Gap. The Gap rates high on the rating system. He says, I've got to go for it. I don't want to risk $440, though. I'm going to risk less. In fact, he's so new, it's his first week after the class, he only wants to risk $66. So he takes 300 shares. So in this example, Paul, Paul's asking me about the buying power. This beginner guy, he's new. He only needs $7,600 some dollars and change in buying power to be able to take a 300 share position of line this day of the gap on the third, the continuation from the second, okay? He takes the same trade as me. He only risks 66. He gets out past the target. The target was $24. He just made $594, risking $66. Again, the formula, it pays you fast. And here's the financial freedom, because you don't need a million dollars to make this work. He has 7,600 sum in buying power in his account. He has a very small beginner's account. He risked $66 in this one trade, and he made almost 600 bucks. He can't do that at his regular job not in 35 minutes. He doesn't make $600 in 35 minutes at his regular, his regular job. In fact, if he goes to work at his job from nine to five, he doesn't even make $600 on the day, okay? So this is one of these examples where it shows you how your time investment is worth something if you have a system to use a formula that pays you pays you fast and has a good risk to reward. And really the biggest thing with this is, is the time investment for the risk to reward. It's the combination. It's the combination of being able to do something like this in this amount of time with this amount of risk to reward for your money. Because you could do this and still go on to your regular job. You could do this and do something else besides. You could do this trade and one other trade and have the same risk to reward. It's only, you know, it's only 10 something in the morning. Okay, 10, 19 in the morning, 10, 20 in the morning, you could go on and do something else with your day. Diana's saying, do my stops get hit quite often? The answer is no. And let me answer, let me ask, let me just go over Diane's question here before we go on to the next, next example, because I think this is important. Diane is saying, wait a minute, you're taking this position here. I have the stop over this base. I only gave it a couple of pennies cushion. She's saying that seems tight. It's not tight, and here's why. If this fails, I want to be out. If it's going to fail, Diane, it's going to fail quickly. I don't think it's going to fail. In fact, I know that it's not, and let me tell you why. And this we're not going to discuss this today, but I'm going to teach you something here. The stock opened and swooshed. The, I named my company the stock swoosh, and the stock swoosh is actually something that really that happens in the market. This kind of bar here, I'm going to go back to the daily, started out in the morning on this day with a swoosh. 
A swoosh is a fast, hard, quick movement down in one direction in the first five minutes of a stock in a day. This line did that this day, the second day into itself when it ran down here in the third. So therefore, I had very high odds that playing this tight would follow through and work and go not only go to the target, but go to a bigger target or a dream, what I call a dream target on the day. When something does a swoosh, it sets the tone for the stock to go to move hard and fast in the direction of the gap. In this case, I'm playing it down. The same thing could happen with up gaps. Swooshes happen in bullish gaps as well. We're not talking about those today. But if something opens and swooshes up, then you know that you can play it to the long side. When something swooshes, it has high odds of continuing. Why? What's really making this thing happen in the first place? What is causing a bar like this? Selling and hard selling, very hard selling, and there's even shorting going on in here. So when the stock opened here right away is at 930, this is a one minute chart. Go down here and look at the bottom. This is a one minute trade. At 9.30, the stock opens and drops hard. Then it does this squirrely taily thing. This is a machine-generated topping tail that happens. You don't do anything with this. You could even be aggressive, Diane, and take this here. If you want me to be honest with you, I actually was in this here, all right? Now, I'm not discussing this here today, but I actually took this trade here. I actually took this trade here and got all out and re-entered it. <laughs> so I'm not going over this example today. This is a whole different setup. But when I took this trade here, I had to stop over that doohickey guy right there because of this, all right? And because of the gap. The actual formula is not even in the setups. It's in the rating system that I'm using that's coming off this chart here, the daily chart. So when I get up in the morning and see the stock is gapping here or the stock is gapping here, I'm looking at the pre-market data of the price. And I'm rating the gap. I'm going over one, two, three, four, five, six, all my 26 points when I'm rating it. This day and this day, by the way. You can rate it here and here, by the way. You rate it both mornings, it gapped. And you are rating the gap and determining that it meets the qualifications, which is what? For me, if the stock rates over 20 points. If the stock rates over 20 points, then it has a high odds of follow through and working on the day in the gap. And at 19, it has a 50-50 chance of working or failing. And I've been playing 19 gaps lately, to be honest with you, because I can see these kinds of setups. But at 19, they may not work immediately. I prefer to trade in the morning. Why? The morning trades gives me this kind of momentum. This entry here is a $2 drop. And even if you feel better, Diane, giving it a cushion, if you want to give it a cushion, Diane, put the stop over the whole number. Give it 26. You're still going to get paid. You are still going to get paid. It'll be less than nine times, but if I did the math, it's probably four to, four to five. It could be even over five. It'll probably be half of what you'd make in this, but it'd still be a great risk to reward trade. All right? Uh, what's a good risk to reward trade? Four plus. People that take trades that make one to one or two to one or even three to one, I see setups like that all day long in the market and I don't take them. I pass on them. That's how ridiculous my assumption is that things have to pay me. <laughs> but the reality is that once you get used to seeing these kinds of things, you it's no holds barred and you take them. However, you have to know what to look for. What are you looking for? This guy here. This guy here. Every morning you're getting up and rating the gap and you're seeing if this is something good that's going to work. And you know what? This thing even ran the next day. I didn't do it this, this day in here. But it actually even ran the next day. This thing broke all numbers here. What? Why? Why did it happen? Because of the gap. Again, the gap is the formula. It's the formula that you're using to trade. I'm showing you the entries, how you can get paid and pay yourself. And even if you only want to risk $66, and even if you have less than $10,000 in a, an account as far as buying power goes, you could still profit. More money than you make probably at your regular job in an eight-hour day unless you have a high profile position or you're an attorney or a doctor. Let's look at another example here, LPSN. Guess what? It's the gap again. Look, here it is. This is back in May. This was May 9th. Beautiful, fantastic extension here. The biggest bar in this chart, actually, if you open up this chart, I don't have the whole data going back the last couple years. This is the biggest bar on this chart. Why? Because of the gap. So you get up in the morning, you rate the gap, the gap rate's high, you look to set it up to trade. 
you're looking to get a nice momentum trade that you can make in 15, 30 minutes. If you want to stay no longer, you can, but you're looking for one nice trade with a good risk to reward to make money fast using the formula. What's the formula? The rating system for the gap strategy to know that LPSN was going to work like this before it even happened. And now how did you know that you rated a gap? It rated extremely high. I have to go back and look. This was either 23 or 24 points. It was really high. Like it, it didn't get like two things or something. It was like almost perfect. It's what I call perfect because it's hard to get everything. So this opens up here again. This is a one minute chart. It's 930. 931, guess what happens? Boop, triggers right in here. Stop over this guy. Is it tight? Absolutely. Do I care? No, because if this flips and reverses, I want to be out. Okay, I'll take my stop if it flips me out. If it works, I get paid and it works. In fact, if you didn't take this entry here, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't even get it. You, didn't, you got nothing, you didn't even get it. This is it. You've got to learn how to do this. You've got to learn when to do it. You've got to learn a formula to find the gap, the stock symbol, in which case this day was LPSN, that's going to give you this kind of setup that isn't going to fail. It is in fact going to work and you're going to be able to hit it and take it, put the stop tight and get paid. If you didn't take this entry, there was nothing to do here. You never got in. In fact, it went right to the number, then rallied back and it was done. It just pitted off the rest of the day. It was There was no other play to do in this. Here it was, 9.31, you're in it. That's it. The entry time was 9.31. The stop was actually more than the last one. The stop was 30 cents for this price point that's kind of big, but it kind of fell off a cliff. So if you took 1,500 shares and risked $450, it went past all targets. I mean, I never thought this would get anywhere near $8. I thought $9 was a target on this. Seriously. And and it went way past every number. The total profit was $25.50. The risk to reward in this was 5.6 times the amount you risked you made in profit. And this was in 15 minutes. This set up a 931 and hit down and ran right into the next reversal time. It went, the next reversal time is 945. It ran like couple minutes, two, three minutes, right in after 9.45, and then pitted off a little bit, and it was done, and you have to take it out, because it's not breaking new lows in here. Somewhere between here and here, you're out of the trade before it bounces. Tried to break through even at 10 o'clock, couldn't do it, and you booked the money. This was a beautiful play, and was the only chance you had to make this money on the day, and from here, from the entry, at 9.73, it ran almost $2, and you could have made $2,500 in 15 minutes. Where can you make $2,500 in 15 minutes? Here's another one. This is EBIX, another beautiful, fantastic chart that falls off a cliff and goes to all the bigger numbers, numbers that you can't even think it's going to get to, and yet it does. And this one was an easy why. Because the day of the gap, look, it went green. And this is the second day into it. This is what I call a continuation gap. This gap rated high here this day. Didn't really have the follow through, didn't turn red on the day, kind of ran out of time. You see what it did. Fell into itself, made a big topping tail. Ran out of day. The day closes at four. Sometimes these run out of time. And look what it did the next day. And here it is. This is the Golden Gap EBIX. This is back in June. This is June 21st. This is a little bit of a late setup for me. I'm typically in something before 10 o'clock in the morning. This one didn't even set up until 10.05 here. And so you have plenty of time to situate yourself, figure out your risk, figure out where you're going to take it, how much you want of it, position size yourself, everything. You're in love with the gap because it rated high the day before and you're watching it and you know this has a big target and you can't wait to take it. Uh, Dimitri's asked me the play today. Actually, the play today was a weird one. Let's talk about it at the end. We can, we can go over that at the end if we have time, Dimitri. I'll bring up the charts for today. We'll, we'll talk about it then. Uh, there was two for today. We'll go over at the end of the day. One was a continuation gap. One was a new one. So anyways, let's go back to this. And when we're done at the end, if anybody wants to stay, I'll bring up the chart so maybe we can go over to my trading room. Kevin lets us. This, the entry here on this one was 10.05. Here it is right here. And look how this dropped here. Look. So literally, in less than 20 minutes, this thing fell off a planet. 
And you could have gotten it even more aggressively up in here in the beginning. But this is a safe entry here at 10.05. The entry time is 10.05. The price is 10.95. Is the stop tight? Yes. Yes, it's tight, but it shouldn't fail. And if it fails, you don't want to be in it. That's the other thing. If something doesn't work right, it's really not going to work, and you take your loss and be done. You cut it. You don't waste your time. I think many traders go after stuff and after stuff and after stuff, and they make excuses for something. There's no excuses for these things. In fact, they need to go and hit and work at the numbers are supposed to work, and I know what they are, and if they don't, that's it. I'm not doing them. I'm out. They have to work. There's no excuses for these things, and I'm getting so skilled at seeing what these resistance levels are that I really know what something's supposed to hold. And this is stuff that I teach in the class. So anyways, the risk here was only eight cents. And on this price point, that's actually what it's around supposed to be. Your stop should be around between this eight and 10 cent range and this price point. And if you take 5,000 shares, I know that sounds like a lot, but you get filled in this. There's plenty of volume in this stock. It's a risk of $400. Past the target you're in, Look how much money you could have made in risking $400. Now, I know that's a lot, okay? But I'm going to show you a beginner example for this as well. It's 23.6 times the amount you risked you made in profits in 21 minutes. Look, 21 minutes of your day, 23 times the amount you risked you made in profit. 21 minutes of your day, this much. And these trades are all done and over by the morning. Now, let's just pretend that you wanted to hold longer. You said, you know what? I really love this EBIX. I'm going to hold this for the dream target because I know that actually $9 is not the dream target. How do you know it? It's already broken the low of the day prior, the day that it gapped. Row $10. You're six pennies away from the whole number. There's nothing in sight. You know the next target is $8.50, $8.25. Could go to $8, okay? So you decide that this is worth your time to actually work for more than 30 minutes today. You've decided, I'm going to hang in there. I'm actually not going to book this trade at that 906 number. I'm going to try to squeeze it out. I'm going to continue this through and let it drop to the bigger number. If you carry this all the way through, you did trade for four and a half hours, okay? But you could have made 34 times the amount risk and profit. Same trade, you just same entry, same entry, same everything. You got in at 10.05. You just didn't get out of it into the first drop off. You stayed in it to the bigger target, the dream target. This is a celebratory cat, which was around 825 was the next number. It broke it. You're up over $13,000. You risked 400. Now, this isn't anything to sneeze at. And, you know, talking about buying power, Paul's asking about buying power. If you wanted to do the stock and, and take 5,000 shares of this, Okay, you would have needed over 54,000. That's still not a million dollars. This is still as same as the other one, the initial one, the beginning one in line. So all these examples I'm using in these stocks aren't even taking 100,000 BP. These are all like around 50,000. You can take a 5,000 position in this stock, it'd be about 54,000 BP. And you could have made $13,000 with, with about 50 some thousand dollars in buying power. That's not cash and buying power. This is how you take a small account and you make it into a big account. This is actually what I used to do when I first, first started out and started figuring this stuff out. We're going to talk about this more in a little bit here. Let's look at this example for this guy. He just started out. He just did the class. This is his first week. He doesn't want to risk $400. He's not comfortable with that. Okay, he just learned the system. However, he does like this EBIX. And he looks at this and he says, I know this is going to fall off a cliff. And by the way, where does this start to fall off a cliff? It starts to fall off a cliff after it breaks the low of the previous day in the $10 number. Look, and it just goes boop. Um, R2S2 is asking me a question. The concept to determine the direction of a stock in the first five minutes of the day is the stock swoosh. That is what the swoosh is. It's something that I created. It's called the stock swoosh. That is a concept that helps you determine the direction that a stock is going to make for the entire day. When a stock opens and swooshes, whether it's a, a, a bullish swoosh or a bearish swoosh, I play the bearish swooshes because that's what I like to do. But when a stock does that, it sets the tone for the entire trading day. Many, 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 many days, you get up and something swishes in the morning, the bar is going to 
end, solid green if it swishes up, or solid red if it swishes down. This is something that I can do another seminar on the swoosh at some time in, in the near future. You give me a good idea, R2. But it is the swoosh. Mr. Forex is asking me, is this only stock trading, no futures, no options, no Forex? No, it's, this is only equity trading. However, that being said, I have had people that have taken my class and used the 26-point rating system that I taught them for their own purposes in other trading ventures. I'm not teaching that for the purpose, but I've had people learn the class, learn the information, and, and they've told me they've done options. In fact, I have a couple of people that have done um, options in stocks like FDX, IBM, Apple, some of those big ones. They've told me they've done it and made money on them. They've done the class. They, they learn how to trade equities. They learn how to rate the gap, but they're taking them based on it going in a certain direction, and they're doing the option on it. That's not how I train, but they're using the information for that way. So you could learn the information in the class and use it to trade for however you want. That's the beauty about trading. So this guy here, he decided he was too too soon for him to risk four hundred dollars. He only risked eighty. And stop was still eight cents on a thousand shares. He risked eighty dollars. He got out early. He did not hold for the dream target, but guess what? He still made eighteen hundred some dollars. He made over eighteen hundred dollars in this play, and that's twenty three times the amount he risked. Fast, by the way. So the actual system, the formula, helps you make money fast with the good risk to reward, which is giving you what? Freedom. And what's the freedom? The freedom is it's, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning, 10.30, 10.20, 10.15, and you're up $1,800. You could quit. Go on with your day. Go to the beach. Or guess what? You could take another trade if you want to. Now, all of a sudden, you've got $1,800. You may only have a small amount in your account. This is how you can take a small account and actually, you know, double, triple your account in a month's time by doing trades like this. You know, you have to understand the formula and the system and the rating system, but you certainly can do it. I know because, you know, I used to do it when I first started out, and I didn't have a big account when I first started out a couple years ago. That's why I'm showing these beginning examples for people because I think it's helpful for people to understand that you don't need a lot of money to be able to do this successfully. However, you do have to have a good formula to do it successfully. You do have to understand the gap strategy to do it successfully. And you have to understand that if you take a position, the stop needs to be where it needs to be. And you have to have a hard stop in. And if it doesn't work, you're out. You're Then you're out of it. So the idea is to learn how to trade so that you can have the life you want, whatever that happens to be. Everybody has different dreams, different ideas for what they want with their life. Some people want to trade and they want to take a couple trades a day and, and use the money they make in the first trade quickly to use to maximize to do alternative trades, other trades, other strategies, or take these gaps swing trades. If you had held that line down into the third day into itself, it, it ran all the way down almost to $20. It almost broke 20 bucks. Or you could go on and take another type of uh, strategy that you want to do. Whatever you want to do, you can have the life you want. Me personally, I want to trade in the morning and go on with the rest of my day and just do something else. Go to the gym. Go work out. You can do whatever you want. That's the beautiful thing about learning how to trade, that your day is your own. You could work for 30 minutes. You could work for an hour. You could go to the gym, go to the pool. Go out and go run in the park. You can do whatever you want. And if you have another job, you can go to that other job. There's lots of choices you have when you become self-sufficient. Uh, Income Trader is asking me any chart platform or specific, specific one. Here, I'm going to put in the room. These are the ones that I like to trade off of, and I've used all of these. Any one of those are good. They're all quality trading platforms with quality charts and have good level twos and they have hot keys because I trade with hot keys. So any one of those systems you can use to trade, they're all going to work for you. There are some platforms out there that are better than others and there's some that have a lot of fancy bells and whistles that you don't even really need to be honest with you as a trader. You do have to have the ability to be able to put in hard stops. I also like hotkeys. That's how I trade so I can take a position fast or get out of it quickly to book the money. 
So anything that you do that you don't have hotkeys, I'd be skeptical on using the, the charting system. I'd use something that has uh, hotkeys for yourself. And you have more freedom as a trader than in a regular career. You know, for, for almost 20 years, I did mortgages. I worked seven days a week. In fact, I had a customer call me on Christmas Day one year. And I was with my family. And after I got off the call, I said, I got to get out of this business. <laughs> and, and that was starting to be near the end for me, where I had had it. And I wanted to find something else to do. And then I discovered the market. You know, the reality is when you have to report to a boss, and if that boss is your clients or a real boss that you have to go to report to every day you go into work, you really don't have freedom. Freedom is training because you don't have any boss. You're your own boss. That's why you do need a business plan, which is the formula, which is the rating system. That's your only requirement. But you don't have to report to work every day. If you want to take a Friday off or a Monday off, you can take the day off. You could just say, you know what? I'm going to take a three-day weekend this weekend. I'm not going to trade today. I'm going to skip Monday. Come to work on Tuesday. Okay, fine. The market is still going to be your friend. The market isn't going to fire you. The market isn't going to not give you any good gaps on Tuesday. No. The market's going to do what the market does. And the market lives and goes every day with or without you. It's the wonderful thing about having trading as your career. It gives you more freedom because you can make your own decisions. And more time equals more freedom. Again, booking the money in 15 minutes, booking the money in 20 minutes, booking the money in 30 minutes means you have time, which means you have more freedom because it's the same thing. And it's also the same concept about money because more money equals more time and more freedom and more choice. The interesting thing is, if I would go up and ask every single one, every single person in here of the, of the, of the 87 people in here, if I asked every single person, if I gave you the world and said, you have all the freedom in the world to make your own choices, would you be happy or would you not know what to do? This is really important, people. This idea about becoming more self-sufficient and empowering yourself to live a better lifestyle, there's responsibility with that because you have to have direction. The direction of a course is following this formula. But the beauty is that when you start to see that, you'll be able to realize your own potential for your life, your own potential for your own life to become so much more than you could have possibly ever dreamed it to be. And your confidence level builds on that. And as a result, then you become more successful in whatever it is you choose to do. So your path to success is the Golden Gap course because it's a formula. The Golden Gap course teaches a trading system on a very advanced level. And the purpose of the system is to make a good risk to reward in a short amount of time. The class teaches how to comprehend, calculate, and determine the price action to follow the large institutional money that is trading stocks in the market. Why? Because that's what's creating the gaps. Like that gap down in line, the gap down in LPSN, the gap down in EBIX. There's nothing that could possibly make that type of drop in a stock, but what? Hedge fund money, money from banks, big, large institutional money that sells out of the stock. The system is designed for traders to limit losses and maximize gains when gaps rate high, over 20 points in the 26 system, and then set up to trade. Trading on the side of the momentum created by large money, again, the institutional money, is how to make money as a trader, and it's also how to make money fast. The Golden Gap course is an education of how to determine the direction a stock app will make on the day and how to trade it properly. The class also teaches traders on how to read resistance and support on an advanced level. And this is where Diane was asking me the question earlier about where to put the stops in. When you become really, really skilled at reading resistance, you're going to feel 100% conviction that where you put the stop, you're gonna, it's going to stick. It's going to hold. It's not going to violate it. And that if it would, if it does, that it wouldn't work right. Because you're going to have an understanding of where the stop's supposed to be based on the numbers, on the price, and the resistance. So the Golden Gap course teaches how to pick which symbol to trade in the day. There's so many symbols in the market. How do you know which to do? You have to find the good one, the one that rates high. It teaches how to correctly pick the direction a stock will trade in that day. Is this going to trade up or down? Do I buy it? Do I sell it? 
It teaches a strategy that offers momentum moves in stocks each day. Again, this is how you're making the money. And it teaches how to trade gaps. That's the strategy I teach. And it teaches a consistent and profitable strategy because that's the object for you is to make money. And the only way you're going to make money is if you're doing it consistently. It teaches how to enter the stock and determine the target. How do you know it's going to go to $9, $8.50, $8.00? We discussed this in the class and teaches how to read charts and price action on a very advanced level. And it teaches entries in the first 30 minutes of the day. They are aggressive, but these are the ones that set up. And as I showed you in some of the examples today, if you don't take some of these entries immediately, you don't get in. You don't get in. You don't get the move. You don't get paid. You miss the whole thing because they set up right away. So what really makes the system special? The, the what, I, what I do, what I, what I teach myself. It's like what I would call or describe a diamond in the rough because you are going into a sea of stocks that exist on the New York and the NASDAQ stock exchange and you are looking for a diamond in the rough every day that you wake up to trade. How are you going to find that diamond in the rough to get a stock that's going to drop $3 on the day with a $0.20 cent stop, $2 on the day with an $0.08 cent stop. How are you going to find this diamond in the rough? You need a formula. You need a very specific criteria, focus, and detailed formula to do it. And that is what makes my system special because it's looking at 26 things. And that is an incredible amount of things to look at in the morning. You, you could say to yourself, gosh, you know, is, could you possibly look at that many things? Yes. Yes, you can. And this is how I'm picking out the good ones. What makes the Golden Gap rating system special is the enormous level of detail and focus to get it right. The system is designed for absolute quality, just like in a diamond. Quality stock pits and entries to make money. Again, the quality is in the entries, too. The Golden Gap course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best gap to train each day. And the rating system was designed by me for myself. This is one of the other reasons why I think that my system is a diamond in the rough for anyone that chooses to take my class and learn from me. It's because I am doing it. I designed it for myself. This is my thing. And I'm just teaching it to people. I didn't do this for any purpose other than me. I wanted to find a way to pick stocks to trade. I wanted to find a way to pick which direction to take it, how heavy to take it, whether to hold it to the position to the bigger target or not. How can I get in this thing so I can make a lot of money? What can I, how can I find the stocks to, to, to make a lot of money? I designed it for myself to make a lot of money trading when I started out back in 2008. And now I'm teaching it to people. But it wasn't like I ever just rolled out of bed and said, oh, I think I'm going to, you know, teach people and run a company. No, I said, I want to trade the market and I want to find something that has a good risk to reward payout because this is the way that I'm going to make a lot of money. And I said this to myself and it took a long time, but I figured it out. And now as a result of it working so well, I started to teach people how to do it. And now other people are doing it. <laughs> Bubba says, you go, girl. Yeah, Mike is asking me about the trading room. If you're interested in more information about that, email me here at melissa at the stockswish.com. There you go. So learn the proper knowledge to reach a higher income level. Remember, you cannot produce these kinds of results that I'm talking with you about today without having the right knowledge. Don't think that this is the 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 something that happens all the time okay this is there's a specific formula that i'm using to find these things in order to get these types of risk to rewards nine times the amount per dollar 23 times the amount per dollar 34 times the amount per dollar you have to have the right knowledge this isn't something that is going to be something that you just wake up tomorrow morning and say oh there it is you really do have to have the right knowledge to be able to put it into use and this is about education I teach people what to do. It's valuable. My time is valuable, just like I was discussing with you, so I charge a fee for the class. But for you, as a person, as a student, as a, as a student of the market, it really has to be about the value. And how are you going to tell that? You're going to ask yourself, is the information you're learning in the class worth more than you're actually paying for the class? The Golden Gap class is what I call value-driven education. The class teaches you a strategy to trade that you can use in multiple ways now and also over the course of your entire life to make money in the market. 
And once you put the information to practical use, one live trade can pay for the cost of the class. The class is $24.99. You can make that back in one trade. Um, R2 is asking me if I'm in Arizona. No, I'm not, but I used to live in Arizona. I'm actually on the East Coast. I'm on the East Coast now. But I used to live in Arizona, R2. That's why my number is a uh, Phoenix number. In fact, I'll write it in here if anybody wants to reach out to me. This is my direct line. So the money you can make trading Golden Gaps is fantastic. It's fantastic because of the risk to reward. Because you can risk $66 and make $590. Because you can risk $400 and make almost $13,000 if you want to hold a trade to the bigger target on a day, to the dream target. I can't think of anything that you could do on this planet to have that kind of payout in one day. I just, I just can't. This is why it's worth the time to learn how to do this. This is why it's worth the time. It's worth the investment of the money for the class. Because once you learn how to do it, the money you can make is really fantastic. And so the Golden Gap is a system that you can use to trade that's complete. It teaches you entries. It teaches you the rating system. It teaches you support and resistance. It teaches you how to get in the trade, where to put the stop, what's a correct entry, what's the right setup, how to rate the gap, and how to play it on the day, and how to have conviction and to be able to do so to make your risk proper so that you're going to be able to see yourself through to the bigger numbers, to hit the bigger numbers on this, be able to risk $400 someday with a bigger account. And the class is called the Golden Gap Course. It's a two-day course. It's this weekend, July 20th and 21st. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. And it's 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. It's July 20th and 21st. The cost of the class is $24.99, and you get one month free in the live trading room with the cost of the class for July. So become more successful so you can enjoy your life. Part of enjoying your life is leisure. It's not going and working your butt off every day and coming home and collapsing in front of the television. It is about enjoying your life. Having time for yourself to enjoy being with your loved ones, your family, your friends, or just sitting by yourself on the beach reading a book. You know, honestly, when I worked and worked the prior job that I had, I didn't read books for years, and I love reading books. But by the end of the night, I was so tired. Every time I sat down to read, I'd fall asleep. Now I have time to do things for myself. I have my weekends free. I have my afternoons free. I, I have my own freedom, and the goal is freedom. So thank you so much for coming. If anyone has any questions, we can go over some things where I can bring up some live charts. We do have a couple minutes here. Does anyone have any questions before I, before I do that? Any questions at all? And you know, I'm going to bring up one, one thing I just was thinking as well while you're asking some questions here. Uh, two Super Trader says, what's an average cash needed for a 50,000 buying power? Well, there's two options. It's two Super Trader. And I could give you referrals for both. If you want to open up a retail brokerage account, the minimum buying power, you, uh, the minimum account size you need is $25,000, and the BP you get is going to get is going to be 100 at a retail brokerage account per the day trading requirements. If you want to open up a proprietary day trading account, you can open that up with a proprietary day trading firm. You can open up an account like that with as little as $2,500. And your leverage could be anywhere from 5 to 1 to 10 to 1, depending on the broker. And I can send you a couple referrals, and you can check into them for yourself. So, for example, if you opened up an account for $2,500 and the broker gave you 10 to 1 leverage, you'd have $25,000 in BP. So if you wanted to have 50000 in BP, you'd have to open up an account with, for example, 5000 at a proprietary day trading firm, to give you an example. Betty's asking if you can trade, pay for the course over time. Good question. I do ask people to pay for the course all at once up front, and here's why, Betty, because I'm asking, I'm giving you all the information and teaching it to you at once, and then you have the information. I've thought about doing that, but in today's world, 
I felt that that was not the proper business decision for myself because my information is so valuable to me that I felt that if people really wanted to learn the system and do it, that they would invest the money up front to do it and you can retake it as many times as you want to for free and I help people. Like you can actually call me on the phone and I will help you learn the information. You can ask me questions, email me and be in the live trading room. So I spend a lot of personal time with people because I really take pride in my own strategy and system and developing people into good traders, which, which, which I'm in the process of doing. And I've only had the business since December of 2012 that I've started teaching people. I mean, I've been trading since 2008, but I've only been teaching people since the end of last year. So, so at this point, I only have you pay for the course in full up front before the, you receive the information. And I felt that was the best business decision uh, for me personally because of the value in what I'm giving you in the class. And I have had people that have taken the class and made the money back in one trade. And to be honest, I'm not, you know, telling people you're going to do that for sure, but I know that it's possible because I know people have done it. And they are, you know, some of the people that have taken my class are brand, brand new. Some of the people that have taken my class are actually people that have been trading on and off for years. And then they meet up with me. And all of a sudden, I teach them something that makes it sink for them. And they always understood the market, but they really didn't have a strategy that was paying them. And then all of a sudden, they learn the stuff that I teach them, and it like clicks for them. And all of a sudden, everything, all the years of hard work they put into it, thinking they were never going to get anywhere, all of a sudden, now they're, they've learned something and they're making money. So I've had people from all different variant skill levels that have, that have you know, taken the class. Um, so it really doesn't matter if you're brand new, if you're not new, if you're experienced, what I'm going to teach you is new. Um, hedge fund, why don't you email me that directly? Here's my email again, and I can give you some places. There you go. And here, I want to say one more thing uh, about, about this whole trading idea that we're talking about today about risk. This is what I was starting to say earlier. And you can keep asking me questions because we have a couple more minutes here. In the trading room today, we were having a good discussion. The discussion was about the idea of gambling versus an investment in your trade. Uh, here you go, Betty. And the interesting thing is that when you recognize that something works so often because you're doing it day after day after day after day, for example, this is what this is the case for me with what I do, uh, you realize at whatever point, and it's different for everybody, that trading is in fact not gambling, that there is actually a way to learn how to do this thing, this trading the market, that will pay you that is real. And it is not gambling. Like we were having a discussion today because I have some people in the room that are over trading. And I'm not, okay? I may take one trade, I may take two trades, that's it. And there are some people in the trading room that are doing five, six, seven things. And then they're, they're, they're wondering, they're thinking their odds are better if they do, you know, four, five, six, seven things. And I said, that doesn't increase your odds at all. It doesn't increase your odds at all by doing more. You increase your odds by just finding something that's good. You increase your odds by finding something that's quality. It's not about doing a lot. It's about less is more in the market. This is the kind of the caveat. It's like the secret, secret little hidden thing in the market that no one ever talks to you about. You think that it's an odds game that you're playing in the market to make money. You think that's how you're going to be successful by uh, playing the odds. That is not the reality of how to be successful in the market. I'm successful in the market doing one thing. In one direction, I might add. Even though I can trade longs and I can read them and rate them with my system, I don't do it. I only do the shorts. It is about narrowing it down to quality and doing one thing. It's not about doing a million. It's not about playing the odds. It's about finding something that works good and sticking to it and not deviating from it. This is where it gets tricky for people. People want to deviate. You can't deviate. You have to follow the system. And if you don't have a system, you got to get one. And that's what the whole idea of the formula is all about. 
Okay, does anybody else have any other questions? Any questions at all? If you guys want to come over and plop over to the trading room, Kathy can boop everybody over there if you're here, Kathy, and we'll go over the stuff that happened today. If anyone's interested in doing that, we can do it, and then we can look at the earnings that are reported after 4 o'clock if you want to, because I'll look at that myself. If anybody wants to come over to my trading room, Kathy, plop everybody over. And, and we'll go over the stuff. I'm going to take the PowerPoint down now and put up my charts. Okay. Come in the trading room if you want. 